Hello, my name is Zach Kamara, and I'm a consulting systems engineer with HPE Aruba. Today I'll be taking you through a demonstration of automation and telemetry visualization with the EdgeConnect SD-WAN solution. Automation is a common topic in the network space today, but can vary widely from simple scripts to complex automation workflows between otherwise independent IT systems. Automation helps us scale our efforts, similar to being in multiple places at once, whether that's completing parallel tasks or duplicating efforts. In today's demonstration, you'll see all of the above. Connecting the orchestrator, collecting information and telemetry from appliances, storing that information in a database, and then visualizing that information in a meaningful way. Commonplace for large enterprises or MSPs, many different products and solutions are brought into centralized tools such as CMDBs or monitoring platforms. This avoids having to log into many different systems for visibility and adds value being able to correlate events and data in one place. Today's demonstration leverages popular open source tools to exhibit the flexibility EdgeConnect offers with its robust API and allowing users to quickly deploy a proof of concept of their own. The demo is run on containers, and as such, the only software prerequisite is a host system with Docker installed. Configured in an environment file and or with environment variables on the host system, we'll pass these values to the containers, including orchestrator address, API key, a username and password to log into the EdgeConnect appliances, as well as the number of telemetry collection containers to spawn. In this case, I've left that to the default of four as I'm collecting data every minute from only six appliances. We'll also set a token and password for authenticating with InfluxDB and Grafana, rather than default credentials for those components. It's recommended to use environment variables for these sensitive values, including the orchestrator API key, as opposed to saving them locally in a file. If we don't provide any other configuration, the discovery container will automatically choose four reachable appliances to collect telemetry for. If you'd like to collect telemetry for specific appliances, they can be included in the limit appliances JSON file, as you see here. As we launch the demo with our docker compose command, the containers will be built or pulled and then started. Discovery will begin once orchestrator and InfluxDB are confirmed reachable, with each appliance being added to the Redis queue for collection. Resulting data will be populated into the database and ready to query from Grafana. We'll give this some time to run to populate data over time. If we don't see data retrieved, we can check the login directory for any issues encountered with collection from appliances. As we navigate to the Grafana web interface, HTTP on port 3000 of the Docker host, we'll start off with the dashboards that visualize common stats across all collected appliances. First, a WAN utilization focus. Normalizing WAN utilization across appliances by calculating the percentage utilization of system bandwidth against configured deployment and license values. This allows us to identify outliers and appliances running near configured limits on one easy chart. We also have a histogram demonstrating the distribution of max percentage utilization and 95th percentile percentage utilization across these appliances. The next dashboard is similar, giving a view of the utilization of Boost, our WAN optimization feature. Both normalized as a percentage of configured limits, as well as total data boosted in the period of time viewed for all the appliances. While these dashboards focused on a single topic for all appliances, we'll jump over to the detailed appliance dashboard for a deep dive into a single appliance. In the EdgeConnect telemetry dashboard, we'll select the desired appliance in our drop-down menu, and the panels will update appropriately. The dashboard is broken up into sections, such as platform stats, WAN, LAN, boost, overlays, tunnel counts, path conditioning, and detailed tunnel stats. Each panel has an informational note explaining the contents. While some pieces of data are unaltered from the appliance, others have been translated or combined with additional logic to provide insight. A great example of this is the WAN section, where the system WAN utilization is graphed together with the configured deployment and license values to be able to easily visualize if our traffic is approaching those system limits. At the same time, we have a repeated panel for each unique WAN interface to understand the underlying use of each transport and how it has been used over time for cumulative bandwidth. You'll also notice that certain panels have configured thresholds. This allows us to draw attention to attributes approaching critical levels or raise alerts to investigate further on a system. As you can see in the tunnel section, we're also raising attention should tunnels go down on an appliance, just as we see here. While this demo is meant as a proof of concept to collect and visualize Edge Connect telemetry, it is also a sandbox to experiment with how to visualize the data. We can edit or duplicate existing panels in the dashboards 
to add or change elements, such as a moving average trend line to this bandwidth chart. We could also overlay or combine queries from multiple measurements to track correlation of events, such as adding latency to a second access to correlate a possible service impact. While that concludes this demo, you can find links in the description for all the files and documentation for it to run in your own environment. As always, thanks to the Spice Rec Band for providing background music and some automation humor. And thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new and are inspired by the many ways to incorporate EdgeConnect data into your systems. Thank you.